Hey everyone, Marco here, back once again from my color screen, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today's home screen tutorial is a screen of the day by the popular Gary Arts. This one titled Diagonal Tiles. Well, why is this one called Diagonal Tiles? Well, as you can see, this beautiful two screen setup comes with everything that you need, all in beautifully designed, unique diagonal tiles on both of these screens. In the first screen, it's got things such as your camera, your music, your browser, it's even got a little weather notification and then your file browser down below. The screen next to that has your time as well as your battery percentage as well as a few more icons including your chat, your email and finally your phone shortcuts that you can get to quickly. So if you'd like to see how to recreate this home screen, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so starting off with our stock Nova launcher, don't worry you can still use SS launcher and Apex launcher as well. So we're going to start off by holding down on the home screen, selecting the little wrench there to get into our Nova settings and from here we're going to go into our desktop. From here we're going to go into our desktop grid and a, as you can see a 9x7 works pretty well for pretty much any phone that you have. Even the Nexus 4, a 9x7 grid wor works really well. So I'm going to select OK here. Margins you want none, shadows you want off, labels you want off. But here when you go into home screens, you want to have two home screens because there's two pages. And then for wallpaper scrolling, you want this to definitely be on, otherwise your wallpaper will not scroll. So from here, we, all, we need, all we need now is, well, widget overlap doesn't really matter, but resize all widgets does really matter. So that's our desktop settings done. Our dock, we want to disable the dock. And finally, we're going to our look and feel. From here, we want to disable the notification bar at the bottom here so that you don't see it at the top. But don't worry, you can still have it if you go into your gestures and buttons and then select it with a gesture, but you need the prime version of Nova for this. There's also no app draw icon, so remember to either use your home button, this one over here to bring up your app draw, or even a gesture such as swiping up to bring up your app draw. So we're just gonna go back now, and that is our home screen settings complete, ready for the wallpaper. Great, so for the wallpaper, we're just gonna be holding down on the home screen, going into your wallpapers now. Now you can either use quick pick or gallery, works pretty well for me, and you just need to find where you've copied it onto your phone, the wallpaper that has been provided. Nexus 4 fans, I was able to make a Nexus 4 version of this that worked pretty well. So all you need to do is select it and then pretty much your Nova settings works pretty well like this. As you can see, it crops it quite well, but Quick Pick does quite a good job with it as well. So we'll make sure that it's taking up the whole screen, going OK. It'll set the wallpaper. And there we have it. Remember to have your wallpaper scrolling on, otherwise it will not work too well. Also remember to get the wallpaper working correctly. You have to get basically what your width of the phone is and then times it by two to get the correct width. And then, well, your height just has to stay the same. If you want to do this in either Photoshop or Photo Editor, which is an amazing app. So let's move on to our UCCW widgets. Great, so for our UCCW, it's quite easy to add. We're gonna hold down on the home screen, select widgets and then go into UCCW. Now it really doesn't, mean it, it doesn't really matter what size you choose, as you can always just resize them, like they are just went for a two by one. Now you wanna go open user. These are the edited ones provided by Nozato, and they work pretty well for my Nexus. So all we have to do is say for the next, or for the diagonal one, I'm just gonna select it now. I've already imported it, so I'm just gonna go yes. And it's, I know it's for the second screen, so I'm just gonna hold down and drag it to the second one and it's a bit small now so just holding you need to hold down and resize like that as you can see it's looking better and there we have it looks pretty good all in the center like that so now you just want to add in each one of the u zips there's four all together one is the clock and the battery over there and the other ones over here you might just have to resize the weather one over here just across a little bit Great, so once you have both of or all of the widgets set up like this, you will want to just now configure each one of the hotspots to open up the, your app that you prefer. So let's say, for example, we want to tap this one here. It's going to bring up the one with the music browser and the file explorer. If I wanted to change my music, you want to go select object, open up, select hotspots. This will show you now each one of the hotspots. But now as you can see, each one of them aren't really the ones that you would want. So if you want to change the music one, you want to make sure it's on number two. If you bring this up, you can change all of them individually like this. So with the two selected, we're going to select Hotspot. I'm going to go into our app. I'm going to go into my Play Music. I really like using it. And then that's pretty much it. You want to do it for each one of them. And once that's done, you're going to go Options here, Hotspots Mode. 
and turn it on. Remember to do it for each one of them. And let's see if it works. I'm going to tap that and it'll open up your music. Now, if you didn't like that little square there, that little colored square, that one right there, then you're welcome to use a desktop visualizer to put it over that and just make it no touch effect when selecting it. And there we have our home screen complete. If I zoom in a bit here, let's get a good closer look. See, we've got that zero there. That's using Misted in case you want to have a WhatsApp notification always enabled to see if you've got WhatsApp's notifications or pretty much any other notification. I highly recommend using Misted. It's a great app. I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on it soon as there's quite a few cool things that you can do with it. So thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to the My Color Screen YouTube channel as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen and don't stop customizing. Mm -hmm.